Favorite producers of 2023. I was, I've been like, I mean, we're at the end of the year. So I just been trying to like, I was like, yo, do we do awards? Like, are we there yet? I don't know if we're there yet to be doing awards and shit like that. But I was just like, what were my favorite beats that came out? What are my favorite songs and my favorite beats? And it got me to thinking about which producers just kept coming up throughout my Spotify and my Spotify wrapped and like who I was just going back to a lot because of the production. And so I want to give my top five uh, producers and then I'm going to throw it to you for anybody that you really found yourself going back to this year on the production side. Right. All right. So, um, and then I have I have a prediction after this based off of these songs, but um, first I'll go with P two J, P two J, UK based, Afro beats producer, produced a ton for Burna Boy, produ- produced a ton for Wizkid. He produced a lot of More Love Less Ego, which I said here was probably my most listened to album of twenty twenty three. Um, he produced some on Jay Huss's album Who Told You, Massacre. He produced on Stormzy's last project, Need You. He produced Little Things by, uh, who is it? Georgia Smith. Who is that? I said, who is that? That is one of oh, Okay. Uh, hey, Ma. But, uh, but uh, yeah, Little Things by Georgia Smith. Um, yeah, all around just one of the best Afrobeats producers. I listen to him a lot. Second, um, DJ Mafarissa, he produced Mnike, which if you're out of the country, that's one of that was one of the biggest songs of the year. It's one of the biggest on my piano tracks of the year. I don't know if you've heard it, but it's a banger. Um, and then he produced Canada for Lil J. I also had Magic Six on here, who produced On My Piano, uh, by by Ashake, Pray for Benson, Outside, um, Outside. Fucking song is that? Outside, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, no, Fireboy DML and Black Bones. Um, yeah, and then I had Uncle Waffles on here because this is one of those products I was like, I didn't know it dropped this year. Her first EP or album dropped at the beginning of the year. I didn't know that. I thought it came out last year. So both of her projects came out this year, which I bumped both of them, and then. I put the co-producers on here because she has co-producers on every track. So I assume they like work together on every track. But Tony Dorado, Shake and Les, and Ice Beat Slide. Ice Beat Slide, I have him as being one of the biggest producers, biggest on my piano producers of next year. I think he's like, bro, anything he's touched, pause, has been fire. Everything that he's worked on in my playlist is fire. And so based off a lot of this, bro, I think that Ama Piano is going to continue to grow into the production of music, period, right? Like a lot of these artists are working with the biggest artists in Africa, and I see them working with the biggest artists um, in the world pretty soon, like uh, Magic Sticks. No, Blaze Beats did Love Me Every Day with Chris Brown and Wizkid. So they're already working with big artists, but based off of this, bro, I just see them like taking over in the next couple of years, especially with like hip hop production being so boring. Yeah. Well, I'll go back to some boring hip hop production then, because most of mine are going to be some of the other guys. But, um, you know, I would probably say Alchemist is really big up there for me. Like he released a couple projects this year. He, he had one with Larry June. He had one with... um. Uh, Boldy James, he had one with uh, Conway. Conway released a lot of music this year too, which was kind of he crazy. dropped. An, he drops a couple like EPs or three, four packs too. Yeah, yeah, no, he's been working, bro. He's definitely been working. But I would say Alchemist for sure. Um, I had, I would, I would still put Metro Boom in there. Like I feel like he still yeah. had one of the best albums of the year. Like, did that come out? Album. Did that come out at the top of this year or the end of last year? I don't. It's like I don't remember when shit came out. When did that come out? I think it came out at the top of this year. I want to say okay. it did, but I, okay. I'll fact check myself in a second. Um, regardless, if it's the end yeah. of that, you know. Regardless. Yeah, yeah, but that him definitely for sure. Uh, he had a lot of good production on that album, and then he had some singles. I mean, singles sprinkled in there. Sorry. Um, and then I would say Conductor for sure. Conductor is just one of my favorite producers year over year. Like I feel like he's pretty consistent with the type of stuff he puts out. He has his own really unique style, and I still like to hear it from at least the 
underground side and then i might put um hit boy in there too i made a video about hit boy earlier in the year and actually my song of the week this week is a hit boy um beat but he has been putting out a lot of stuff i mean he did the stuff with his own album his dad he i think he didn't he put out two projects with Nas this year or was it one um i don't know it might as well have been both i, I think yeah i think oh I think no, no, no 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 uh king's disease 3 came out at the end of last year but or yeah. t- but the one with the red it. cover the one with the red was cover magic, the there was magic. magic two and three so i think he put out magic two and three this year oh yeah yeah you're right you're right you're right, yeah, you're right, yeah. right, you're right. so you're right. he's you're been right. working a lot like there was a lot of good beats on there personally i mean i feel like i kind of got tired of the whole nas rap because he just put out so much but um in that short span of time but hit boys beats didn't fail still to me so i would probably yeah. say him and i mean Besides that, you you did mention him earlier, but Kelpie, bro, Kelpie vibes has been killing this year, like really killing yeah. this year. I love him and the Ada Kunle Gold mix. I love him with a lot of different artists that I've heard. So those would probably be my five that have been pretty consistent on the rap side. Plus, you know, I got Kelpie. But yeah, I would. Um, I forgot to mention Blaze Beats earlier. Um, he produced Loju by Wizkid, Holiday by Rema. 2.30 by Ashake and Lonely at the Top by Ashake. Um, he's fire. But I agree with a lot of your takes. I think um, there has been, there's just so much music now, bro. It's so cool. It's so cool, like, because a lot of the stuff you said, I listened to, and I would agree with you 100%. It was just a matter of, like, I don't know. I, at this point, I think I am Afrobeat biased, and I try not to be. I try and still go listen to some rap, but it's like, bro, this shit slapped. Nah, I mean, I think, like I said about the UK stuff, like it's refreshing and it's new. I think hip hop has been in this same type of mode for a while, and there's this new sound coming out of it in a couple different ways, actually. So I feel like the newer stuff is easier to grasp onto. It's kind of a, like I said, refreshing, new, almost an easier listen to. But me personally, I'm just a real big, like, I'm still a big OG rap fan. And I'm still a big underground hip hop crazy beats, like nasty break beats fan. So I'm gonna Agreed. listen to it all. Like I feel like i yeah. you're you're more on the side of getting into the um I don't even know what just happened with my laptop, but it's okay. Um obviously you're getting more into the hip hop producers, like you're more invested in like who's producing each song, which I've been trying to do that when I've been hearing crazy stuff, but I, I I'm just more versed with that hip hop stuff. So I'd love to bring it here. Yeah. I wanted to um, also. I had a couple of single, like just songs that were crazy beats to me. They didn't. The producers didn't necessarily have enough to land in my favorite producers of the year, but the beats were crazy. Um, Welcome to my strip by Unknown T and Odumodu Block was produced by J Five. Uh, Sibility by Ira Star produced by London on a not London on the track. London from Africa or. I think he's from Africa. He makes Afro beats. Um, Gorilla by Little Sims, uh, produced by Inflow. I put No Ills by Smino on here, but I realized that came out last. That came out last year, I think. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. still a fire beat. Um, Freshness by Popcon, produced by Dane Ray and Demario Duncan. Party Girls by um, Victoria Monet, produced by D Mile. Um, and that's, that's all I have for singles. And next week we will be potentially talking about our favorite EPs of the year. Ooh, tune in next week and you'll see. Ooh. <laughs> no, I definitely got some of those. Uh, there's a lot. That's the other thing, bro. Like mixed in with all the albums, there's like little random sporadic EPs that we got. So there's right. so much stuff that I missed. And even I was about to say one of the favorite, one of my favorite produced like EPs is the Sprinter EP. I mean, the, not Sprinter, the EP with Dave and such. Split Decisions. Split Decisions, yeah. Split decisions. Like that whole, all the beats on there, I'm looking at some of the credits and there's a lot of people on the credits, honestly, yeah, as far as producing. Yeah. So, but that whole album, I yeah. mean, that whole EP was yeah, crazy beat-wise. 